Hey everybody, and today we're going to do a kind of Valentine's inspired tutorial. So without further ado, we'll get right into it. I've already moisturized my face. You know, you can use any moisturizer that you prefer. And then first I'm going to go in with this Laura Geller Spackle Supercharged Fortified Under Makeup Primer. Mouthful. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on this brush and this I'm just going to lightly work that over the skin. Next I'm going in with this MAC Prep and Prime Fortified Skin Enhancer. This is an illuminator and it does have an SPF of 35. And again, taking that on the same brush. Working that on top of the primer. Next, I'm moving on to foundation. I'm going to use my MAC Match Master SPF 15 foundation, and I am in the color 1.0. Again, same brush. Just going to kind of stipple it on first. Then use the brush to kind of work it into the skin. In. Don't take it all the way up under the eye area because we're going to put concealer there later. Okay, and now for an eyeshadow base, I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base in white. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my finger and work it over the mobile eyelid. Using a white base will really help the shadows that you put on top of it really pop and stand out. Get a nice intense color payoff. And for the eye look, I'm going to be using this Lorac Pro Palette. This is the first one. The first color I'm going to use is this light pink shade right here. On a fairly dense brush and I'm just going to pack that on the lower part of the eyelid. And then using a fluffy blending brush. This one is from 6 Plus but it is very similar to the MAC 217. And I'm going to go into this mauve shade right here and just kind of work that through the crease and up to the brow bone. And using that same brush, I'm going to go into the cream color right here. Kind of use that as our brow bone highlight. Then going back in with that same dense brush again into the light pink. And just kind of re-intensifying the color. Now for a little extra added drama, I'll be using this Infallible Strawberry Blonde Shadow by L'Oreal. It comes with the little tool that kind of keeps it all packed down. Be using that same dense brush again. Just keeping that limited to the mobile lid, not going all the way up to the crease. Try applying that with our fingers. Might be a little better. Definitely much better if you apply it with the fingers. And going back into the crease again with the mauve color. Just to kind of deepen this a little bit, I want to use the taupe shade. Just going to keep that right on this outer corner and just kind of wiggle the brush around. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of the deep purple. Lightly tapping the brush to it and then tapping off any excess. Work that over where we just put the taupe and slightly blend into the crease a little. Okay, and now using MAC Black Tracks Fluid Line, like eyeliner gel, and a e.l.f. angle brush. I'm going to 
just line the lash line. Not going to do a huge wing or anything. You can if you want to. Really putting this into the lash line and kind of wiggling it a little bit. Just to kind of darken that line a little bit. Give it a little more drama. I'm going to wipe that angle brush off for the most part. Then I'm going to go over that line with this deep purple. And putting shadow over that liner is just going to kind of soften it just a little. Now to work a little concealer under the eyes, I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear in NW20. I'm just going to take this flat brush, place the product, and then blend. And to blend out that concealer, I'm using my Zoeva Concealer Buffer Brush. This is, brush. This is the number 142. And to set that under eye area, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in shade number 1. I'll be using my tapered eye on beauty brush. Just kind of tap that powder. Don't want to swipe because that will move the concealer around. You just want to, you know, tap and kind of push the powder into it. That will help set it and keep it from going into fine lines for the rest of the day. Okay, now I'm going to go in and finish up the lower lash line. I'm back in with that angle brush. Just kind of tapping it in the mauve shade. Then it's optional, but I am going in with a pointed pencil brush. Just using that shadow a little bit. You don't want it to be too stark. I'm going to take a little bit of this nude shade from the palette and pop that right here on the inner corner of the eye for a nice highlight. And to lightly contour a little bit, I'm going to be using the MAC Powder in Sculpt on an angled MAC 163 brush. You want to start kind of right here at the top of the ear, go under the cheekbone, but you really don't want to go any further in than kind of past where you're the edge of your eye or where the pupil is. And then a little bit kind of around the hairline to add some definition back to the face because when you put the foundation on it's usually all one color unless you use two different colors and it kind of flattens the contours of the face out so going in with a dark contouring shade will just kind of add some shape and definition back to the face. And we have not set our foundation yet, so I'm just going back in with that foundation brush. I'm just going to blend that contour in really well. You don't want it to be too BAM like right in your face. And for blush, I'm going to be using Love Cloud by MAC. And just kind of get it on the tip of the brush and make sure you tap off the excess. You know, and depending on your face shape, I like to keep the blush kind of high and set back on my cheeks make them look nice and high then for highlight I'm using max mineralized skin finish in light scapade just swirl around in the product tap off excess put it right here on top of the cheekbones and for the eyebrows the only product I'm going to use is this benefit Give Me Brow, and this is in the color Light Medium. They also have a Medium Deep, depending on, you know, what your natural or unnatural hair color is. Since I'm going for a lighter look on the face, I'm going to go for the lighter brow gel. And 
And now before mascara and lipstick, I'm going in with my setting spray. And this is the Chill Setting Spray by Urban Decay. Make sure you hold your breath and close your eyes for this one. And for a little eyeliner, I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil. And this is just a light nude color. I'm going to lightly put that in the waterline. Going for a light romantic look, so we don't want anything too dark. Now for a little mascara, and I'm using the Buxom Waterproof Lash Mascara. And I just really like this kind of brush. Get in there and really separates the and coats each lash. And now that our mascara is done, it's time to move on to the lips. I'm going to start by lining my lips with this Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Rockin' Rose. And it's a color that's pretty close to my natural skin tone. It's just going to be to define the outer edge of the lip. Next is going to be the Jordana Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain in Tropical Frenzy. And I'm just going to put that on the kind of inner portion of the lip with the heaviest concentration in the center of the lip and it'll really kind of give you that you know, bitten lip, kind of juicy look to it. Then if you want to take it just a little step further, you can use any clear lip gloss. This is the Lip Glass by MAC. Just kind of put that in the center and not bringing it all the way out to the edge. And there you have it. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and hope you have a very happy Valentine's Day. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Still, whenever I hit 100 subscribers, I am going to do a giveaway. I'll be getting some goodies ready for that. So until next time, bye!